So I just got done spraying the Lizard Skin Sound Control in the 67 convertible today. Uh, let's see, we got all the way up the firewall and I actually used a 90 degree attachment, which I'll show you here in a minute, on the gun to get up under the cowl. So everything under there is covered. Um, all around the interior, inside the quarters, the back pan, and into the trunk as well. Inside the quarter panels, up in the top of the quarter panels, backs of the wheel wells, this stuff sprays really good. Having, having the gun that comes with the kit made a big help. I uh, appreciate it, Alex. Uh, I saved my butt this weekend. So this, this is the gun you get, and here is the standard tip. Then it also comes with this 90 degree tip, which directly replace that, makes it really easy to get underneath the cowl all the way up the firewall and the bottom side of the quarters right here. So that really helped. Uh, pretty easy to do. It just comes in, in a pail. So you got two one gallon pails to do the inside, which was more than enough for two coats on a convertible. Actually a little bit left over, but if you're doing a coupe or a fastback, I would get the two gallons that we have plenty because there's a lot more to cover there. Uh, really all you gotta do, pop the lid off. It comes with a stir for a, for a drill, and then I just put some warm water in a bucket to clean the stir off when it was done. Pour it right in the gun, and they recommend threading this all the way in, and then back it off two turns. I backed it off about two and a half, and I ran at about 70 PSI coming in, and that sprayed really good shooting about two feet away. Uh, so tomorrow, it says to let it dry 24, 36 hours before putting the ceramic heat shield stuff on. So I sprayed it at about noon today on Saturday. I'll shoot for probably about four o'clock tomorrow afternoon to do the ceramic. So ceramic, I got a, a two gallon jug and it works the exact same way. So I'll, uh, I'll post up some pictures and how it looks on the Boyce Customs Facebook page tomorrow after the ceramic's done. Um, I have just an update on the rest of the car. I had all the, took, took the whole rear apart and sent all the pieces. I, I sandblasted them and then sent them over to my buddy Brad Decker to get them powder coated in black because the coating that came from Heights, I guess it was, was kind of flaking off and looked crappy. So everything's a nice gloss black now. Uh, oh, underside of the car is now done in black Raptor liner kind of hard to see there, but it's done. As well as the engine bay. I'll cover this a little bit here. So a customer wanted the bottom side of the frame and the frame rails and the cradle done in the liner. And then everything else that you see in gray primer, I'll finish prepping at, and then it's gonna get sprayed gloss black to match the car. So I started installing the rear suspension yesterday as well. I just got a little too late to start spraying the uh, insulation. Uh, I'm just waiting on a couple of parts from Mustangs to Fear, which I believe will be here tomorrow. They sent them out on Friday for me, just a steering knuckle and some hardware for the coilovers. Uh, I also installed the Mustangs to Fear uh, frame stiffeners. These things are pretty nice looking. Uh, customer wanted these being a convertible to help Stiffen the front end up a little bit and it definitely can't hurt. You know, you're taking a lot of strength out of the front of the car when you get rid of them shock towers. But they just weld in right there. I did have to trim some length off of here because it was gonna cover the, the bolt hole for the bracket, for the bumper bracket on both sides. I cut about two inches off of each side to get it to fit, no big deal. And then you cut your angles that you want on this piece too. It was probably about three inches long. I just cut the angles to, to fit it fit it in and welded it right to the, the torque support there, the torque box. But again, everything from Mustangs to Fear has been awesome fitment, awesome support from them guys. Uh, customer got the, the powder coated option, I guess, from them, the arms. So they showed up with the bushings already pressed in, the ball joint already pressed in. So that was nice, one last thing I had to do. Um, also going with the manual rack because he's planning on doing the electric power steering. I think he's doing the Prius setup on the steering column. Um, oh, I also sprayed, I got them flipped back over already, but I did spray the inside of the doors with the sound control also, um, just to 
help kind of take the, the tingy feeling out of the doors when you slam them. I'd use the kill mat when I did my 68, which same idea, definitely helps quiet it up a little bit. Uh, I don't know how much road noise it will get reduced on a convertible, but I think he was more after the, the heat control here. So the, the ceramic stuff will get sprayed on and that'll definitely help keep the floor from getting hot while you're driving. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll be posting some more updates as the build goes further. Uh, I'll just start tearing into body work in the next couple of days. And hopefully by Thanksgiving, I'll be ready to spray this thing. All right, thanks.